Shalom. <clears throat> Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodash. Also, as well, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well to this very day. Let us continually feed the flock through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And also, as well, Shalom to the whole elect. Let's continue to labor in this work and also labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith, in truth and sincerity, and also in all charity. All right. And um, the topic of this video is going to be entitled Conforming to the Image. All right. Now, of course, like always, you know, the spirit, you know, hits me to uh, change the title in a specific way. You know, of course, we're going to move according to the spirit. But uh, pursuant to the topic of the video, you know, um, this is uh, Lamb backing off of uh uh, from the camp that we held uh, this uh, past Saturday uh, and um, you know one of the topics that came up was being um, conformed to the image of our Lord Yahweh Shai who these people anyway call Jesus All right, and um, you know and that's what you see today you see men of the Lord or you see men that are rising up and standing upon their feet and, and now we're being tailored Tailor made or conformed, like like uh, the title says, we're being conformed to the image in the likeness of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. Now that's not talking about just you know appearances, you know, because of course you know the scriptures go into um, how our Lord looks or what He looks like, all right, or the image or His physical image, right? But um, being conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai basically means to to be conformed to his way of living okay you know his 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 modus operandi you know uh his uh, motive of operation okay because when he was in in the flesh as himself all right he was about his father's business you know he was about the the the, the preaching of the coming of the kingdom all right which was the which is the gospel all right and um, also during that time, you know, the scriptures speak about how he was, you know, the scriptures, uh, you know, describe our Lord Yahweh Shai as being an austere man. All right. The, the austerity. OK. And also as well, you know, just uh, being about the truth. OK. Because Yahweh Shai's life was not like the rest of the Israelites that were living um, during the time of the uh, Roman Empire, okay? Because you had Israelites that were um, living in certain parts of uh, the Eastern world, all right, which was, you know, some places were looked at as, uh, you know, the top place to be, you know? You know, the, the top city to, to reside in, Okay. And you had Israelites that was looking down on the other Israelites because of that, man. All right. But Yahweh Shai, his background, all right, and where he came from, you you see that um, you know, of course he was born born in Bethlehem, all right, and um he was raised in uh, Nazareth, okay. And Nazareth was regarded as uh the ghettos, okay. But yet, Yahweh Shah was raised in Nazareth, all right? But he was given the wisdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And, and see, and that's the spirit because um, King Solomon, all right, which we already know who he is, all right? Who he is in the reincarnation. And the reincarnation is indeed biblical, okay? It's written with the, all throughout the scriptures. But anyway, not to get too far off topic. Um, King Solomon, um, you know, basically he was, he, he asked, the number one thing he asked for the most high was wisdom. Okay. And the Lord gave it to him. All right. But guess what? That same wisdom that he asked for, uh, during his lifetime as King Solomon, guess what? He, he kept that, that same wisdom. All right. All the way up to the point to where he came back in the flesh as himself, Yahweh Shai. Okay, because Solomon, King Solomon, 
is indeed Yahweh Shah in the reincarnation. Okay? And there's precepts to, to show, uh, to outline that, but I'm not going to get too far off topic. But being conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai, all right, a, a part of that is is having the wisdom of Yahweh, the Most High, okay, through his son Yahweh Shai. All right, that's being conformed. And, and, and it's not just having the wisdom, but it's also applying the wisdom, you know, that's been given by Yahweh by Shemel Shai. All right, and, and this wisdom is uh, something that is kept from the understanding of, of these people because they, they, when these people hear it, they don't understand it. Okay, but the ones who the ones who are in league, should I say, if I use that word, are the ones who are in alliance with Yahweh Shai. Those they, they have it. Okay, they have the understanding. All right. But again, that's being uh, conformed to the image, all right? When you're being conformed to the image, you're being uh, shaped and molded, all right, by the will of the Most High into the image of the Son, okay? And like I said, a part of that is, is, is wisdom, all right, which uh, is truth, okay? Another part is, um, is uh, teaching, okay? And the other part, of this is uh to endure all right and, and, and there's many other you know many other things that come behind being conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai but the main thing that is uh that we are being conformed to when it comes to being conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai all right is having this truth okay and what it means to have this truth, all right, is to do the will of the Heavenly Father. But that's what Yahweh Shah did. All right, he did the will of the, of the Heavenly Father and he did he did nothing else but that. Okay? Because again, he was all about his father's business. All right. He was all about the work. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the precepts. I'm not gonna make this too long. I know I might have rambled there for a little longer than I wanted to, but uh slock you. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter eight. And uh, this is at verse uh, 28. It says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are called according to His purpose. All right. So this is all, again, like I said earlier, this is all in the will of Yahweh Ba'ashim El Shai. All right. The, the Lord wants this. All right. This, this, is, this is His will. Okay. This is how He wants it to be done. All right. So again, it says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, right? And that's, and that's true, all right? The Lord hasn't forsaken uh, the, the, the ones who have uh, followed him. That's why uh, King David uh, even said it himself. He said that um, he's, he's both been young and old, and he has not seen the righteous forsaken. Okay? So that's why all things work together, like it says here. Uh, for good to them that love the most high to them who are called according to his purpose right and that's why you have uh, a term called uh, destiny all right and actually it's going to go into it right uh verse 29 says for whom he did foreknow he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son all right so the ones that he did foreknow in other words he knew before or aforetime Okay, he also did predestinate, and, and predestination is indeed within the scriptures, man. Okay, things have already been pre planned, all right, in the way that's supposed to go. Okay, the Lord has a script, all right, and that script is being followed. Okay, you know, there are certain steps towards the kingdom, all right, there's certain steps that's got to be uh, implemented in order to get to the kingdom, all right, and to obtain the kingdom. Right, and, and we're doing that right now. This, this this whole thing is a process, man. Okay. You know, ruler, you know, rulers, or somebody that's coming into rulership, you know, they have to be groomed. Okay. They have to be groomed in a certain fashion. Okay. And that's why us being in this truth, all right, right now we're being groomed up to be uh, the next rulers. Okay. Just like uh, like our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know. He endured uh, all the way up until the cross, okay? 
And guess what? He received the kingdom. All right. So guess what? Uh, that's also going to be our lot. OK. As long as we endure to the very end. OK. We know we are to carry our, our burden. You know, and that's what that cross represent. It represented uh, the burden that Yahweh Shai had to carry, man. All right. Um, actually, now that I said that, let's see if I can grab a quick piece up. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 10. And um, let's get straight to the point. This is at verse 38. It says, and he that taketh not his cross and follow after me. In other words, taking up the burden, right? In which, you know, all of us in this truth, you know, we have certain things that, that um, you know, we deal with, that we have to deal with, right? You know, we got certain certain elements of the world, you know, uh, or I, I rephrase that. The Most High, Yahweh Bashim El Shai knows how to press our buttons, okay? You know, he, he knows where... Where our, where our strengths are he know what our weaknesses are man he, he he knows us better than we know ourselves all right so us you know us uh that's in this truth you know we all have our own cross to bear all right and that's why this this uh thing of our you know it's a it's a solitary uh you know it's it's, it's uh it's solitary in the regards to what you know what the brothers who are a part of the whole field let you have to go to you know that's why the scriptures say uh work out your own salvation with fear and trembling all right so yeah we have our own uh you know um issues of the world and and uh burdens that we have to bear in this life but that's a part of the, the that's, that's a part of this this process all right because yahweh shai had to do, do it as well he had to carry the burden all right and with that burden Right, with, uh, the, the 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 sin, the sins of the nation of Israel. All right, and that's why he had to be put on the cross. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna read it again. Verse 38. It says, "And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He that find his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it." Okay. And um. That's a part of it. You have to lose lose certain things in this life. It's not beneficial to the work. All right. And I say it like that because uh because there's certain things that we have to uh deal with in this life, right? Our own, you know, little business that we have. All right. But at the end of the day, you know, our life is tailored to the life of Yahweh Shai. All right. Our life is being, um, you know, basically we're being put through the same trials as Yahweh Shai, all right? But the difference is that, you know, we're we're servants of Yahweh Shai, okay? But yeah, we're, we're going to receive the things that our master has received, right? But um, him having the position that he's in, sitting at, seated at the right hand of the Heavenly Father, he already did most, most of, uh, well, I, I say it like this. You know, he already did did the work. You know, he did the the bulk of it. All right, he he finished it. Okay, he finished the work, and that work was was what uh, to to teach all the way up to the time of his death. All right, and now he's he see that that right hand of the heavenly Father. All right, and he's received the kingdom. Okay, the heavenly Father promised him a kingdom, and guess what? He's gonna receive that man. Okay. So likewise with us, you know, the Lord promised us a kingdom. All right. But it's certain things that we have to do. It's, it's certain uh, objectives that we have to uh, overcome or, uh, or get to in order to get to the point to where we receive the kingdom. All right. But. Um, yeah, I'm going to grab this real quick. Uh, this is Sirach chapter 13. And uh, this is at verse one. It says he that touch a pitch shall be defiled therewith. And he that have fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. All right. Now, this is on the other side. All right. Because you have um, certain of our people. All right. The men of the Lord that are conforming to the image of the son of the heavenly father, which is Yahweh Shai. But you have ones that are being conformed to the image of a proud man. All right. And who's that proud man? All right. It's Esau Edom. Okay. 
that's why that's why I have this image here okay of uh, Yahweh Shai on one side and then you have uh, the the other white meat all right the J man on on the right all right on the other side okay and most most of the people that are here conform to the image of uh, this man with blue eyes you know who they who they believe is uh, the son of the Heavenly Father all right but what comes behind this image you know well, you have to think about that what comes behind uh, looking or, or 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 being fed this image of our Lord all right it, it comes what complacency all right uh, wicked more wickedness okay transgressions and continual uh, additions of transgressions all right pride uh, I already said for, I already said pride but look that, that's what comes with it man all right and that's the spirit that <laughs> has me said I say pride multiple times when it comes to this image man because that's, that's what this image teaches you it teaches you how to be even more proud than you already are all right you know versus the people that are in the world you know because uh, you know people in the world you know, they may not necessarily, you know, be quote unquote Christians, you know, in the modern modern uh, sense of the word. All right. But the ones who are uh, conformed to this image, right, of of, of the so-called white man. All right. Uh, guess what? And guess what? They're, they're even more proud than they were before. Their 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 pride exceeds anything else in this planet Earth, man. All right, and you and you see it, okay? When you uh, converse, you know, with a so-called Christian, all right, you can see the the pride just oozing off of these people, man. All right, but um, but it says here in, in the first verse, it says he that have fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. All right, so this man, all right, the so-called white man, all right, which that's the image is really, uh teaching you is teaching you how to be a proud Edomite all right at the end of the day okay that that's the image that our people are, are the majority of our people are conforming to all right so and, and that image all right again you know is this all about the, the the ways of wickedness all right which which uh, America which is known as Babylon the Great in the Bible is spearheading that. All right, and that's why Christianity is the number one religion in the world. Okay, because it harbors pride. You know, it harbors on uh, on your flesh. You know, believe it or not, because that's what you know these uh, so-called pastors teach you in these churches. All right, is that it's okay to be a demon. Okay. But again, going back to the image, right? That's why you have ones that go forward to the image of the so-called white man, Esau Edom. You have ones that conform to the image of of, of, of our Lord, uh, Yahweh Shai. All right? And the ones that are conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai, guess what? They they do the words of, of, of Yahweh Bashmiel Shai. All right? They do uh, the bidding of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, all right, and, and and follow his words, man. Okay, and, and and the major thing when it comes to this is that we are to leave off the ways of Babylon the Great, which is the ways of that old man, which is spoken of within the scriptures. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab, go ahead and grab it. I make this last piece up. Uh, this book of Ephesians chapter 4 and this is a verse uh, uh, verse 21 it says if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh Shai right and, uh, there it is the truth is in is in Yahweh Shai man and that's not talking about the other white meat alright it's talking about the, 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 the true depiction of our Lord Yahweh Shai which is written within the Bible man it's written right here in the Bible Okay, 
all the person's got to do is read. But that's why that scripture is written in Isaiah, the 29th chapter. It says that uh, this book that's delivered unto others who are, uh, who are, I think it's a, a verbally paraphrase, it says uh, unlearned. All right. Saying, read this, I pray thee. And it says, I cannot because I am unlearned. All right. Or it says, uh, or the scriptures say, a division of all is, uh, a division's book is uh, delivered to ones who are um, unlearned. All right. Or, or, or this vision is compared to a book that is delivered unto one who is unlearned. Salaki. All right. So a person can pick up this book and read it. And they'll read the real depiction of Yahweh Shai and, and, and his life, right? The kind of man that he is and, and, and what he was about. But guess what? It's not within these people to follow after that same example. Why? Because they are not, they, they haven't been chosen to be conformed to the image of, of the Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. All right? And that's a part of it too. You have to be a part of the, the elect, the, the chosen, out of the chosen nation, right? Which is Israel, okay? To uh, even participate in this, all right, and we know this because only ones who who have that spirit is only able to do this, all right. A person that don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, guess what? They're not gonna uh, take hold of this, all right. They're gonna stay the way that they are, all right. Which, like it says here, that old man, all right. Uh, verse twenty-two says that she put out concerning the former conversation, the old man. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. All right. So, and that's a part of it. All right. Um, read on, verse 23 says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. All right. Renewing the spirit of your mind, that's uh, being conformed uh, to the image of Yahweh Shai. All right. And that you put on a new man, which after the Most High is created. And righteousness and true holiness see that so the old man is, is put away all right and the new man which is fashioned after uh, the son of the heavenly father all right and renewed in the spirit of the mind all right that's us being conformed to the image of, of, of the the son of the heavenly father man all right it's us being transformed should i say all right, into the uh, the image of the Son of the Heavenly Father. All right, and that's why we have fellowship with Yahweh Shai. All right, and um, yeah. So the ones that have fellowship with uh, Yahweh Shai, all right, they're the ones who's gonna do after the works of Yahweh Shai. All right, those that are uh, in the fellowship of Esau Edom. Which is after the image of uh, 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 Serapis Christus, all right, or what uh, you know the majority knows it as uh, the image as uh, Cesare Borgia. Uh, guess what? That they're gonna be uh, conformed or transformed into a demon, okay? And that's why you see the state of these people today that are here in, in Babylon the Great, okay? Because their minds are warped. All right, through the influence of mainly Esau Edom, all right, because he's the main pr proprietor or the main uh, the main person who is pushing uh, modern modern Christianity, all right, which modern Christianity teaches you about a so-called white man with blue eyes and, and straight hair. All right. So with that, I'm going to close out on that note. Uh, Lord's will. This is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, to that once again, I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, Bashim Rakhakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great notes on everyone to this day. Shalom, peace and safety. Citations to the hope elect. So I continue to labor in this work and also labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure. And faith and truth and sincerity and all charity. And with that, we go to Shalom.